Now that's good history. Welcome back to Toes of History. Now, we're not having an episode today, but it's Memorial Day. So today we just need to honor our military before and after. So today we have a table here. It was my, my wife's grandpa's that he made and he served in the war. So we are going to send that one off and we're going to send it up to the sky with him. And we have two other flags that we are going to be burning today as a retirement to them. Now, the first flag we're going to burn today is for all of the POWs, all the MIAs, all the ones who have died in the past. The second flag we're going to retire today is going to be for all of the current um, uh, military that are serving with us today and veterans. So today we're going to send those home as well. And we are going to do it as respectful as possible. We have looked it up, we've researched it, and we've found out the law of how to get them since we're not military people ourselves. It's National Military Month, everybody, and it's coming to the end. Let's send them out with a bang. Hold on a second, everybody. Hold on a second. This is my disclaimer, because I know how people are today, and I know about you didn't do that right. Um, you need to do it this way. You should have done that. You've been disrespectful here. I never served. Uh, I had a lot of family members who did, and I would be slapped around by half my family if I disgraced the flag in any way or disgraced their memories. So this is me trying to give something back to something I couldn't do. Now, I know it is a Memorial Day, and that is a day when you remember the people we've lost. I get that. It's not all about cookouts, hot dogs, and hamburgers, everybody. Our veterans that are out there today deserve much more respect, and one day called Veterans Day just doesn't do it for you. So, you know, I encompass them all today. Because you know what? Anybody from George Washington to the last man who signed on the dotted line to serve this country deserves our respect because it's something that if you're sitting here, we couldn't do. If you guys have any um, uh, comments that make it the channel better, by all means, put it down there. I'll review it. I'm always trying to get something better. But you know what? Me and my crew, we um, uh, research lawyers. We research federal code in order to try to use the best we can. But you know what? Hey, we're amateurs. That's why I got you guys all out there to check me, because I'm sure you guys will. So, that's why this is America, everybody. Checks and balances. I hope you enjoy the show. A toast to all our soldiers out there and all the ones we lost. May none of y'all be forgotten. Let's honor some history today. This first flag represents all our servicemen, POWs, missing in action that we have lost since this country began. This flag represents all of our servicemen that are currently active. In the Middle East, Coast Guard, Navy. If you're out there, buddy, we haven't forgot you. This one's for you. I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to, the to the flag of the United, United States, States of America. America. And to and the, the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, God Indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. These are members of my family and my wife's family that have served. Rob Anderson, Bobby Biggs, John Biggs, Bud Clayton, Don Clayton, John Devine, Joseph Devine, 
Madeline Devine, Thomas Devine, Jean Faust, Craig Gorby, Derek Hawk, Gary Hawk, Bill Humphrey Sr., Ralph Humphrey, Ralph Kashmir, Bill Miller, Jill O'Connor, Bob Owens, Guy Owens Sr., Rick Owens, Ron Owens, Ron Pownell, Larry W. Roberts, Jack A. Simon, Lionel Starcher, Don Watson, Greg Wells, Al Yunkin, and Morris Yunkin. Toast to all our servicemen out there, including the ones of mine that all served. I got you the best stuff. My old hickory is the best in the house. Because you troops out there deserve the best, and I'm going to give it to you as best I can. To all you servicemen, happy Memorial Day. Happy American Appreciation Month. Happy Military Appreciation Month. I salute you as best I can. I can't do what you do. That's good history.